opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. Nx e5 captures the undefended e5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on e4 and controls the d5 square. This forces the opponent to double their pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. Takes back. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent normally leads to a sharp, attacking game. It is good. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. This moves the bishop to a more active square making it gain scope. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is good. This wins a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This captures a vulnerable bishop. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is good. There was only one good move there. It is a mistake. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is good. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. It is best. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is best. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. 
This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This blocks the check from an opposing rook. It is good. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. This kicks an opposing rook. It is good. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. That's fine. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. An active king is critical in the end game and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A very strong play. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Takes back. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.